Rory Feek charmed the country world with his signature down-to-earth overalls, heartfelt vocals, and touching devotion to his late wife Joey. But there are untold depths to the man behind the acoustic guitar that even his biggest fans may not know about. His Country Music Start A Kansas native, Feek moved to Nashville in 1995. While this move had a huge impact in launching Feek's songwriting career, CMT revealed how the musician had previously flexed his muscles as a performer during an eight-year stint in the Marines. The now-iconic crooner actually started out by touring with a country band around American military bases in Japan while serving in the region. It was only after he left the Marines that Feek struck out on his own as a solo performer, first in Dallas, then later in Music City. Too Poor for Health Insurance Before he met his late wife and musical partner Joey, Feek had two daughters from a previous relationship and raised them as a single father. He explained in his book how he was so poor when his daughters were young that they never had health insurance. As a result, being sick wasn't allowed because we couldn't afford it. Sadly, accidents are inevitable, and when his daughter Heidi was five years old, she fell on the playground. Unbeknownst to her father at the time, the little girl had in fact broken her leg. Instead of taking his daughter to the emergency room, Feek called an Ask a Nurse hotline and assumed Heidi was probably okay because she didn't have swelling or fever, the typical symptoms that could mean a broken limb. The next day, Feek took Heidi to the ER and learned how serious her injury was. He recalled looking at the fracture and crying, partly because I realized how much pain Heidi had been in for the last 24 hours and partly because I hated living that way, hated that I couldn't provide better for them. In Sickness and in Health Feek met his wife-to-be at a songwriter's night, but both he and Joey were dating other people at the time. Still, Rory and Joey continued to communicate with each other. Joey called him on Valentine's Day to inform him she had broken up with her boyfriend. Feek immediately knew what he had to do. I hung up the phone and called the girl I was dating and told her it was over. God had just moved a mountain right in front of me, and I was going to see what was on the other side. In June 2002, Rory and Joey were married, and six years later in 2008, the duo auditioned for CMT's Can You Duet, and their music career took off. At the height of their fame in 2014, Feek's wife Joey learned she was pregnant, and the couple decided to take a year off from their music to raise their baby. Their daughter, Indiana, was born in February 2014, and in the following days, she was diagnosed with Down syndrome. Just a few months later, in May 2014, Feek's wife Joey was diagnosed with cervical cancer. During his wife's battle with cancer, Feek shared updates through videos and his blog. Sadly, after a nearly two-year battle, Joey passed away in March 2016. Coping with Devastating Loss Feek's faith has been of huge importance while grieving the devastating loss of his wife. In an interview with Today, a year after his wife's death, Feek explained how faith has helped make Joey still feel present in his life. I feel her everywhere I go. I feel, I feel the choices that she made. I feel the strength that she had and the love that she had for me and our family. Although his relationship with his wife faced many obstacles, Feek is adamant that their faith helped bring and keep them together. Feek told The Tennessean in February 2017, over a year after Joey's death, that he still feels married to her and feels her presence in every room of their farmhouse. Feek also explained that undertaking the chores his wife used to perform helps him to remember her, while not straying into the painful territory of regret, saying, I don't spend a lot of time regretting or wishing things were different. I'm busy making oatmeal and giving baths. Single Dad for the Second Time Feek was a single father to his daughters Hopi and Heidi for over 10 years before meeting Joey, and he became a single dad for the second time after Joey passed away. Although he misses his wife dearly, Feek tries to see his second adventure as a single father as a blessing. Writing about daughter Indiana on his blog, Feek explained, when I look into her little eyes, all I see is love, and her mama and her sisters, and the incredible second chance I've been given to be a father. Allowing their legacy to live on In September 2016, just six months after losing his wife, Feek told People that he had no plans to play guitar or sing. Then, in an interview in February 2017, Feek revealed that he still hadn't touched a guitar since his wife's death nearly a year earlier. That's why it was pretty surprising when he announced at a press conference in June 2017 that he would perform without his musical partner and soulmate that coming September. His motivation was to raise money for the Music Health Alliance, a nonprofit that helped him with medical bills while Joey received treatment, as well as after her death. And they stepped in like a family member, and they continue to stay with me, and they have never asked for anything, nothing. In October 2017, he wrote a blog post and explained that while performing without Joey was difficult, 
I selfishly want our songs to go on together forever, our lives and love story to never end. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.